Okay, so our activity today will be to compose a flat book with a medieval timeline, combining the events of Byzantine, Western, and Islamic history. Okay, so in this video, I will tell you how to create this, and you can see what is the final result. The times are shown above and below. So this is, for example, the year 1000. This is the, the year 1100. So this is a space of 100 years every time. And we have the timeline of the early Byzantine period, middle Byzantine period, late Byzantine. And here we have the Muslim world. And on the top, we will have the Germanic kingdoms. So let's see how we can create this uh, yourselves. Okay, first we have the A3 sheet of paper with the ruler and a pencil. We start marking two centimeters into the sheet of paper. After marking several points, we can create a thick line two centimeters wide on the border of the paper. We will do the same with the four sides of the paper. You see, the points are marked two centimeters uh, away from the border, and then we draw a line on each side, okay? Now, in order to transform it into a flap book, we will bend it on the half, not too much, just show we can check what is the middle point. So once the two corners are aligned, we make a little mark here, okay? You see how it's now marked? And we do the same with the other side. Now, as it's marked, uh, we know where the middle of the cardboard is, and we can try to bend each side to the center, okay? And now we will definitely bend it. So it becomes a kind of a book closed on itself. So we bend this side and we bend this other side. Okay, now that we have the flat book, we can start the timeline. So I'm using these lines we have created while doing the flat book in order to create some basic dates. Here at the margin, we will have the year 300, okay? You remember, this is close to the moment when Constantinople is founded. Uh, we have it here as well. Here, where the flat book on the left opens and closes, we might have the year 600, okay? Right in the middle, where I did the little mark to show the middle point of the book, uh, we have the year 900, same here. And here we have the year 1200, and here we have the year 1500. That is a bit after the end of the Middle Ages, okay? So we will work with these lines. Now, in order to use um, the middle ground of um, the sheet of paper in order to draw the timeline, there are two ways to find the line that goes right in between in the book. Let's see, there are two ways. If you have a huge rule, ruler like this one, you can check what is the length of your paper. In this case, it's a bit less than 30 centimeters. So you could draw a line maybe a bit before 15 centimeters. Okay, and you could draw some points here and here and here and here and here. Okay, and just draw the line. But there is another way, doing the same we did before. We take this and we bend it over. And once it's bended and the two corners kind of coincide, then we can press and make a line. And now we know where does the middle of the paper go through. Now we have created points five centimeters away from the central line. Since uh, out of the Roman main line, we will have the division of the Western Carolingian world and here the Islamic world, okay? So we make points five centimeters away from the main line and we will create new lines from here. So I created the lines. 
the line that goes down uh, for the Islamic world, I created it a bit after the year 600. Remember that this will come out in the Battle of Yarmouk, 636. So a bit after the 600 line. And for the Western world, I was a bit before the year 600 because this is the fall of the Western provinces in the um, during the 5th century. So, yeah, I put it more or less on the middle between the 300 and the 600, approximately. And we will have now the skeleton of our timeline. Now we can start adding decorations. So I'll show you how that looks in a, in a second. So this is the timeline I've drawn. As you see, the lines we draw before are still here, but I use them as a skeleton for the drawing. I didn't follow them all the time. For example, here, I think there will be a lot of space for the lateral lines on the top and at the bottom. So I expanded it a bit on the downside and here on the on the upper side, okay? Uh, but here we have basically the timeline we are looking for. We see that the Muslim world exa um, starts a bit after the year 600, as we planned, and the Western Christianity um, comes out a bit earlier, like in the yeah fifth, and in this case, it will be a bit of sixth century. Okay, it's okay if it's a bit before the year 600. Now we can start adding our decorations all the time using the pencil. So uh, if we don't like something, we can just erase it. And if you want to sharpen your lines, you can use a rule and, you know, move the pencil along. Okay, here's something else I've done. I have uh, written again the, the dates and I have written every century passing in between. So between the year 300 and the year 600, you have the year 400, 500, and here you have 700, 800. And I did the same here. And you can connect both of the dates using your ruler or maybe just a big notebook. So you can move a line connecting the year 400 at the bottom and the year 400 at the top. And now you can see how the centuries are passing in a clearer way. At the end, we will color these lines in one color and we leave the, the other centuries in blank behind the timeline. So this allow us, uh, allows us to see how time is flowing from the year 300 every century up to the end of the Middle Ages. And this allows us to work with the timeline more accurately. I'll show you what details I write. Uh, I will write here. Okay, so I've written some details on the timeline now. You can see that I've been using the dates in order to find the different uh, historical events. So for, for example, a bit after the year 300, we have the foundation of Constantinople in the year 330. I have indicated uh, the different periods and let's say, big names in capital letters and mayúsculas and I have indicated like battles uh, and smaller events in uh, minuscule and uh, minusculas. Okay, and you can see that the Byzantine period is uh, Byzantine history is divided in early Byzantine, middle Byzantine and late Byzantine, the fall of Constantinople, Ottoman conquest of Constantinople, the, the battle of Yarmouk, and then here we have the Muslim world. I put the main title Ummah, but it's also divided in the Rashidun Caliphate at the beginning, ending at the middle of the 7th century between the year 600 and 700. Then we have the Umayyad Caliphate, which takes one century after, and it's between the year 700 and 800. And then we have this fragmentation we have seen so far. The Abbasid Caliphate is over here almost until the end of the timeline. And then we have the Fatimid Caliphate here. You know, it's like the 10th century, 11th, and a bit of the 12th century, the Jubit dynasty for the next 10, um, well, 100 years. Then the Mamluks up to the end when they are conquered by the Ottomans who, that are here. And you also have the Seljuks. 
And for the Germanic kingdoms, I only indicated the Battle of Poitiers, which we already know, okay? It's what stopped the Muslims from expanding. The Carolingian Empire, we haven't studied yet, but it's basically between the year 800 and 900. And after that, we will have feudal Europe, okay? So this is what we can do. Now, this is on pencil. I will write it now with uh, by using the pen, okay? Okay, so I have written everything with my pen. I also use the um, blue ink pen for the divisions between centuries, okay? This is blue ink. Most of it is dark uh, black ink. And then the main periods were written on red ink. So you can easily see the difference between main things and concrete events. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how it looks after we erase it with a, we erase the pencil with the rubber. Okay, so this is the version without the pencil. And as you see, I, have, I added some decorations. This is the Kaaba, okay, in Mecca. This is a Byzantine emperor inspired in, a, um, in an illustration we have in the Byzantine, Middle Byzantine presentation. This is the front of a Romanesque church. And I also added Empress Theodora here, a little drawing. So I added a few decorations. You can do it or you can just leave it uh, without decorations. So you see what I did. Um, the blue lines are showing the different centuries, okay? Now I will color it in between with blue color and I will apply colors to this whole thing. Using the code, uh, the color code um, we have in, in the timeline in the presentation. So Byzantium will be yellow. Um, the, the Western world will be orange or, or red. Uh, it shouldn't be dark red because then we won't be able to to read what it says. And here I will use different kinds of green. So we show that it's a complex world with different polities inside. Okay. Um, I added a few dates that you may not know here. So this is Romanesque art between 100 and 1200s. And then from here to the end, we have Gothic art. We will study it later. Yeah, and at the end of this period, in 1492, Columbus discovers America. That is traditionally the end of the Middle Ages. That or the Ottoman conquest of Constantinople. Okay, so this is how the map looks so far, the timeline. Uh, let's see how it looks with color. So this is the version after applying the colors. You see, um, I have painted the lines between centuries either in uh, blue remember that we also use the blue pen to draw the lines here or just leave them in white so you can see that this is the space between 300 and 400 this is the space between 400 and 500 so each of these spaces is a different century okay and i used uh yellow two kinds of yellow for the byzantines so I alternated between them, so it's not exactly the same color, so you can see the difference, right? And for the Muslim world, I use different kinds of reds, and here I cheated a bit and I added another yellow. So I use different colors, but all of them are more or less green, so it looks more or less the same. So don't, 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 don't use red here, because I want it to look more or less like the same. And for the Western world, I use red and orange in different tonalities. And here you can see the decorations, little Theodora here, uh, Byzantine Emperor, um, Romanesque Church. I added, for example, the date of the First Crusade. Um, and I added the Kaaba, you can see it here. And I also added just medieval timeline. I first did it on pencil. Now I did it on a marker, uh, un rotulador, and I will erase the pencil afterwards. And for the outer layers, you can draw whatever you want, any decoration. So here I drawn uh, Empress Theodora and a version of myself, okay? You can draw yourself here, 
You can draw a Byzantine emperor, you can draw a building, uh, you can take images from the presentations, whatever you want. And I will ask you to uh, write here medieval and down, uh, no, medieval timeline here and here your, your name, okay? Okay, and now the flat book is finished. We have the title here, your name on the bottom. You can draw anything you want here. This could be a building instead of two people. Uh, instead of yourself, you can draw uh, any other Byzantine or member of the early Islamic or Western medieval history, whatever. And as we open it, we have again the title and the timeline. Okay, so that's it.